Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you uh, also a new feature that has been uh, actually ported from the Real Thunders branch and that is available now in, uh, in Astocad. And so this feature is that you can now have islands, like you can now select part of a sketch and pad them and so on. So in this example, uh, so this feature is not enabled by default um, because it's still early into um, into um, its uh, life cycle. So uh, it's disabled by default. So first, if you want to enable it, you have to go into preferences and then uh, sketcher. And here you see you have this option auto generate faces, uh, although it may might be renamed. And so if you select it and press OK, then nothing changed right but because the preference is just for new sketches but if you want to change for an old for one sketches that was already created you can go into the property view and here you see you have this option here which is called make internal and so if you select it then you see you have now faces okay so all of this yeah so and then when you have that you can then select one so select this for example and uh, you can select only some faces that you want so if i want to i don't know pad only the guy here i can select them and select pad and that's it and then you can use the same sketch again right so if you if now i want to make a hole that has the shape of uh, know, let me see if i can select it yeah, you see, that's why I said it's like still early in the development because, oh, there you go. It's kind of difficult to select faces when they are on over geometries. But so you can select this and then make a pocket, for example, right? So, and then go uh, all through. Oh, all right, because if I go through, it will make multiple solids so it doesn't want to go through it just want to go uh, partially through right so yeah so that's about it for this feature so yeah it's not uh, yeah, supported well by the ui yet but uh, so for example if you first trigger the tool uh, then it's not going to work fine so for example if i select pad you see, I cannot then select only this, I think. Well, maybe I can actually, let me see. Select this. No, it's not supported yet, right? So it works only if you select first the face and then the tool, then it works. But uh, you see, you don't have like a UI to change the selection. Uh, so the UI is not ready yet, but if you just use like first, selection then you trigger the tool then it works right so you can enable maybe this option and use it um, but the ui is not ready yet for this feature and so when the ui will be all ready uh, with like the possibility to change the selection in the uh, in the task box and and all the quirks will be fixed then it will be maybe enabled by default in astocad so that's about it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.